Happy Halloween! Welcome back to my channel, my name is Mariel and today I'm going to be talking about Halloween costume ideas for pretty much any aesthetic that I can think of. As a disclaimer, some of these are repeated from last year's Cottagecore and Dark Academia Halloween costume ideas video. Also, some costumes might fit under multiple categories, so I might repeat a few in different aesthetics. And I also mostly came up with costumes for feminine presenting people, but I tried to throw in some couples costume ideas and also some that might be suitable for both feminine and masculine presenting people. But I hope you do like these costumes and I hope it gives you some ideas for this Halloween. And if it does, then leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're interested in some fashion content, and follow me on Instagram at the Just Relief and on TikTok at Just Relief. And let's get started. So first of all, let's go over some Y2K or early thousands costume ideas. I think there's so many that you can choose from here. You can go with pretty much any of your favorite early 2000s characters from shows, books, movies, or even your favorite celebrities from the early thousands. Some of my favorite ideas include Lizzie McGuire, whether that's the little animated version of her or the actual character herself, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the Powerpuff Girls, whether that's a trio or even one of the villains from the Powerpuff Girls, um, a recess character, uh, someone from Boy Meets World, Suki from The Fast and Furious is one I've been seeing a lot over TikTok um, as a costume idea, which it's fair because she looks fantastic. Uh, the Cheetah Girls is another great group costume idea, or you could just be one Cheetah Girl. No shame in that. You could be Paris Hilton or Britney Spears. And one couple's costume idea I love would be Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears in their all denim outfits. I feel like that's just an iconic look that everyone recognizes from the early thousands. You could be Avril Lavigne if you want kind of a pop punk look. Or another group costume idea would be Destiny's Child. For some movie ideas, you could be a Bring It On cheerleader. You could be high school musical characters, which is more late 2000s, but I still think it's an iconic look and very recognizable for Halloween. You could be Mean Girls characters, um, you could be just one of the Mean Girls, or if you have three other friends, you could be all the Mean Girls. Um, you could be Elle Woods from Legally Blonde, or Totally Spies is one cartoon that I really loved growing up, so that would be a really cute trio costume as well. I think these all really fit that bright and colorful Y2K aesthetic. Next, I'm going to go over some cottage core and fairy core costume ideas. I feel like these naturey inspired costumes would fit under both categories. So first of all, um, you could be the May Queen from Midsommar. I think that would be a really cool costume because even though it's a scary kind of movie, I feel like that dress at the end with all the flowers in it was really beautiful and, you know, nature inspired. So I think that would fit. You could do Poison Ivy, which is obviously very nature inspired as well. And that can also be a great couple costume if you have someone who wants to be Harley Quinn or if you've ever seen the animated series of Harley Quinn, you can have someone be Kite Man and I think that would be really cute as well. You could be a fairy, of course, but another idea I really love is being a mushroom, and I did mention this in my video last year. Um, I just think it would be a really cute idea to make a little mushroom hat and then just wear white, so that would be a really cute and easy project to do if you're really good with crafts and can make that mushroom hat. Some other movie and TV inspired costume ideas would be Tafiti from Moana, characters from Mamma Mia, which I know isn't exactly cottagecore and fairycore inspired, but I just feel like their outfits have that kind of flowy vibe and could possibly fit in. Um, you could be uh, Anne with an E, Little Women characters, Studio Ghibli characters as well. Um, I feel like the Studio Ghibli atmospheres are always so beautiful and kind of cottagecore like so I think characters from those movies can fit. Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz could also really fit that cottagecore aesthetic. Bonus points if you have a Toto! I also think Winnie the Pooh characters could fit that cottagecore aesthetic, or you could be Tinkerbell or any of the Pixie Hollow characters for more of that fairycore vibe, or Strawberry Shortcake um, could fit cottagecore, and maybe any other childhood movies, TV shows, book characters you can think of, uh, leave them in the comments below. I think a lot of them fit that 
especially cottagecore vibe. And then for a couple more nature themed costumes, um, you could be a snail. I, I just feel like that would kind of be cute or um, a dandelion. And I feel like these nature ones could definitely be DIY. Moving on to Dark Academia Halloween costume ideas. So if you want that kind of schoolgirl look, one badass idea would be Gogo -Go from Kill Bill. For some other movie ideas, you could do Howl's Moving Castle characters, Pride and Prejudice characters, um, Beth from Queen's Gambit. I loved her outfits throughout that whole series, um, and they're very vintage inspired if you like more of that vintage Dark Academia look. In another series, I really loved the fashion was The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina on Netflix. So you could be Sabrina, or you could be the three sisters. Another common costume would be a Hogwarts student. You could be Milo from Atlantis, and that could also be another great couple's costume idea. Um, you could be a painting, such as the Mona Lisa, or pretty much any of your favorite paintings. Or even like a stone statue if you want to paint your whole body. I don't, I don't really know why you would though. I'm difficult, but it's an option. I feel like Mary Poppins might also fit that Dark Academia aesthetic. And that could also be a cute couple's costume idea um, to be one of the Chimney Sweepers, Sherlock Holmes, a Peaky Blinders character, Lady Tremaine from Cinderella. I feel like there's a lot of Dark Academia costumes that you can find from movies and TV shows. Or a more general one, you could be a silent movie character and like paint yourself black and white, carry around a whiteboard or chalkboard and just write down what you want to say throughout the whole night. Um, takes a lot of dedication, but I think that's a really cool idea. And then there's some other costumes I mentioned in my video last year if you want to check that out, such as Black Swan, um, a porcelain doll, or some sort of historical costume, Amelia Earhart or something like that. Um, check out my video from last year if you want some more ideas. Next for an e-girl or kind of alt aesthetic, I feel like there's a lot you can do with that as well. You could be Raven from Teen Titans, which is one that I've been wanting to do for a while. You could be uh, Shigo from Kim Possible, and that could be a cute like duo costume as well, Kim Possible and Shigo. One pretty easy one to put together would be Sam from Danny Phantom, and again, that's another pretty good couples costume idea, Sam and Danny Phantom. Anyone from the Addams Family, um, I think Mortal Kombat characters would also look cool for kind of e-girl aesthetic. Betty Boop could be really cute as well. You could be Marceline from Adventure Time, or you could be Marceline and Princess Bubblegum if you wanted to a duo, um, which is kind of like an e-girl and soft girl uh, couples costume idea. You could be Asami from The Legend of Korra, which would also be a really cute couples costume idea with Korra and Asami. Cat from Euphoria for more of an alt look. Um, Harley Quinn, uh, which I know is kind of overdone, but I feel like that would look really cute with Poison Ivy. You could be Edward Scissorhands, Jack Skellington, or a Corpse Bride character. Um, I feel like uh, horror movie characters would be really cool as well, maybe like a Silent Hill nurse. You could be Ursula, Maleficent, or any other Disney villains that you'd like. And on the topic of Disney, I feel like one we'll be seeing a lot this year would be a low-key variant. For a soft girl aesthetic, you could be Starfire from Teen Titans, which would be a really cute counterpart to Raven. Um, you could be Trixie Tang from Fairly Odd Parents, another great couples custom idea with Timmy. And you could be Dee Dee. Um, from Dexter's Laboratory, and if you have someone else, you could be Dexter and Dee You can be the Powerpuff Girls, which I mentioned earlier in the Y2K aesthetic category, but I think it would really fit in here as well. You could be Glinda the Good Witch, and you can even have someone be Elphaba with you. You could be Princess Bubblegum from Adventure Time, and you can have someone be Marceline with you. I think Studio Ghibli characters, which I mentioned in the Cottagecore category, could fit in with a soft girl aesthetic as well. You could be Russell from Up um, and dress up as a cute little boy scout. Or, or another couple's costume idea would be the, I forget their names, but the two kids from Moonlight's Kingdom. That would be really cute too. Cher and Dion from Clueless. I think that kind of fits the soft girl aesthetic. If you want a group costume idea, you could be the Scooby-Doo Squad. I feel like that kind of fits the soft girl aesthetic. Or maybe like Mario Kart uh, as a group, you could be Princess Peach or Daisy and that would be really cute as a soft girl outfit or costume. You could be the Sailor Moon Squad or maybe even the Friends group. I feel like maybe Rachel's outfits might fit the soft girl aesthetic. Moving on to the Arhav aesthetic. 
I think this one might be pretty obvious, but one costume idea would be Bob Ross. And then to make that a couple's costume, maybe you could do Bob Ross and a happy little tree. I think that would be cute. Uh, you could be Phoebe Buffay from Friends, and then like I mentioned earlier, that could be a group costume idea. You could be a painting, which I mentioned in the Dark Academia ideas. Um, you could be like the Mona Lisa, or like the, the Scream, or you know, any painting you can think of. Or because the style is so inspired by 90s, I feel like you could be any 90s character, like Daria, a Reese's character, a character from Hey Arnold, um, from Doug, like Judy Funny, or a character from Full House, um, any of your favorite 90s shows, I feel like that would be a, a good idea for an art ho aesthetic costume. Uh, you could also be Ty from Clueless, I feel like her style might be able to fit that aesthetic, or a book character such as Pippi Longstocking, or a character from If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, uh, Waldo, any book characters you could think of as well. Or maybe even Coraline, I feel like that might fit the art ho aesthetic. Um, and that can also be a couple's costume. Finally, I have some retro costume ideas. First off, I have Betty Boop, which I think I mentioned in the e-girl slash alt category. Um, along similar lines, I think Jessica Rabbit would also be really cool. You could be Lucille Ball, or you could be a character from WandaVision, like when she's in her like uh, 60s, 70s-ish timeline. You could be Rosie the Riveter. Audrey Hepburn is another classic costume. You could be Twiggy. I think that would be really cool and not as often done. You could be Bridget Bardot, um, The Supremes, pretty much any icon from the 60s or 70s, or even a character from Grease. Um, I feel like that's kind of done a lot as well, but it's still an iconic look. Okay, so those are all the costume ideas I have for all of those aesthetics. I feel like I came up with a lot, and so I hope this really gives you an idea of what to be for Halloween this year, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, if you did, like, comment, subscribe, you know the deal. Uh, follow me on Instagram at the Dress Relief and on TikTok at Dress Relief, and I will see you guys next time.